What's up? This is Mr. Richard, and this is Rich Get Richer. And we're going to do an experiment together. I'm going to drive through my neighborhood. Uh, I live in a gated community, but there's a gated community in the gated community. And uh, we call it Millionaire's Row. And on Millionaire's Row, we're going to look at houses that are worth north of $2 million. And we're going to see what kind of cars they they drive. These people have millions of dollars to spend. And we want to see are they spending their money on like Bentleys, Ferraris, and Mercedes, and all that kind of stuff like that, or are they driving like normal cars like you know me and you drive? So let's check it out. This house right here drives a Ford Fusion. Look at this monster. A Ford damn Fusion, really? The majority of these houses have uh, garages. They go park all the cars in the garage, but but yeah, we'll keep looking to see if we can catch one. Damn, that's a big ass house. Who lit that? Puff Daddy? Let me guess, Jay-Z lit there too, huh? No cars there. This house right here has a BMW. I guess these guys are Ford people. You have two F-150s, a Ford Escort, and a Ford Mustang. So I guess they're just Ford people, I guess. They have a Ford F-150, probably a work truck, or something to that extent. These guys has a Nissan truck, and this guy right here got a RAV4. You do all this shit to push a RAV4, homie? I just passed by one other lady's house, but she was outside. She had a Toyota Camry and she was looking at me recording and you know, I didn't want to get in trouble and you know, get the cops called on me because you know, black guys rolling around in million dollar neighborhoods is kind of frowned upon, you know. It is the type of society we live in today, even though I live in the same neighborhood as these guys, but whatever. But we gotta take, what do we take away from this? That people who have $2 million homes House payments probably in the range of thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars. Don't spend their money on things that don't appreciate in value. You know, I live in this neighborhood and I see these type of cars all the time. The, the, you know, you might catch a Bentley or a Rolls Royce every once in a while, but for the most part, I only see, you know, Toyotas. I see a lot of minivans. I see a lot of Subarus too. I guess because they're really reliable cars. So people with money want reliability and functionality, not aesthetically looks because they have million dollar homes they don't need to look good for anybody else so remember when that next time you go make a car purchase think about it am i gonna have this car for 10 years and am i buying it because i want it or am i buying it for like some social status so this is how the rich get richer and this is the type of things you need to start thinking about to take care of your financial future and your and your family's future and your lineage you want wealth you want to be rich those type of things you gotta do. Like and follow this video and comment am I full of crap or am I telling the truth? Rich get Richard, I'm out.